Hi friends, Sandy Brown here of Life Past 80, formerly of Life Pushing 80, but I made it to 80. So we've been working hard, as I said before, Bill and I, and uh, I decided to decorate in kind of a boho look. Now my granddaughter came up with that boho thing. I thought, what is boho? But I like it. So we had the whole house painted while we were visiting my sister in Florida. And it's painted what they call Chantilly lace. And uh, maybe you can show the wall here, honey. This one wall. I, I just really like it. It's white with it's a tinge of yellow, very little, very little. And this is where we live, Crossville. Crossville is my happy place. Right? And do you remember yes, in yesterday's video, I was saying that Bill was hanging a mirror and he fell? Well, this is the mirror. He even let me tell that he fell. <laughs> Hello, ladies or gentlemen. Uh, I am uh, <laughs> healed already from the fall. <laughs> I've, I've, I've had a call and, and uh, but now I'm feeling better. So we didn't want to sound like a frog. Him and I do the frog thing a lot in our throat. <laughs> okay, which way now, honey? Can I go this way? That way? Oh yeah, we're going down the hall. We talked this all <clears throat> So, as I said, 48 items we counted that we've been hanging. This clock I already had. And I love clocks. I got a thing about clocks. And this is one of my paintings from 2014. Now, actually, I saw this painting, so it's not original. I saw this painting online in 2014. And I just decided to try painting it. And I did. Actually, what I did here is just tape off the border, and that makes it look like you have an inlay, you know. And then when I was through with the painting, I took the, the uh, painting tape off of it. Okay. And moving right along. Oh, do you, after Bill and I moved, we went to a moving sale, and they had this mirror. It was so heavy, though. And I don't know why I like it. I like mirrors too. I like clocks. I like mirrors. That's two things. And uh, so Bill put some mollies, or what's the other word for the molly? Anchors. Uh, anchor. Yeah, something like that. But anyways, so it's hung there good. But it was kind of a booger to do. Uh, this is the back side of the door, but it's a little wreath they put on there. This was here when we moved in, and Bill loves it because Bill, as I told you, is very patriotic, as I am too. So we put that back up there. Oh, and this is something that Bill loved, and we made sure to hang it here. And I'll let him explain this to you, this map. Well, what this is, is an original foil map. This is, this is before any maps were made, this is your America's best, Hugo, this is all in Italian, but these are your earlier uh, pioneer, uh, not pioneers. Ancient, they, ancient maybe? Well, they they were the first ones to discover the world, if you will. But you can see where South America was hooked to Africa and different things. This is just, it's just such a beautiful map. It's all in Italian, so one day if I learn, I can understand it better. And then he, Bill had this cross at his other house and so I thought that looked really good with this so we hung the cross there because we're Christians and it means a lot to us. And um, this this says it all about Bill and I. As for me and my house we will serve the Lord Joshua 24 16. And I had this lion's head I just loved it. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. And uh, because Jesus is the Lion of Judah, so that's why I like it. Okay, so we'll move back here into the living room. And let's talk about, oh, well, first of all, I got to see Bill's, and I think I showed this before. This was a globe that Bill had already. And this is his 
curio cabinet with all his Civil War memorabilia. So that was kind of, he had to take all of them and move, he had to take all these glass shelves out. And, and he was so concerned about getting broken, but everything got here safely. And maybe one day he'll, for those who are interested in the Civil War, maybe we'll open this up and he can explain some of these things. And we didn't know what to do with this painting. This is a painting of mine. And um, I painted that with Nancy Medina. She gives lessons online. Really nice lady. It's always in florals and such beautiful colors. But this spot right here was pretty good for that. And this is our door going out into our deck. Now, when you're doing boho, <laughs> you gotta have a lot of plants and bright colors. Now, you'll see some orange here, which was really never my color orange, but I'm starting to really like it because it's the Tennessee color. And Bill loves Tennessee orange, and I'm starting to love it too. And this, uh, the macrame is back when you're doing boho. Remember we used to have the macrame? I used to do it years ago. I don't, I had no idea how to do it now, but I did. And I bought the this through Amazon separately and the planter. And then we got, I mean, the plant hanger. And we got the thing at uh, Walmart, the pot. See, it's a pretty pot. So I'll put a link for this foliage and for the macrame. And this is, I forgot to <coughs> sign this. I'll have to do that one day, but it's an abstract painting that I did. That's the one to do it for the fun of it. But just for the colors at the time I needed. Uh, we're not through with the porch yet, but we'll kind of zoom in by there. We've got a few things we want to do out there. Oh yeah, I can't forget this. This is Bill's Civil War gun, rifle. And I'll let him tell you about that. Well, it's a... Uh... Actually, just past the Civil War, uh, Civil War ended in 1865. This is an 1873 Springfield rifle that uh, was in the military. It was used for uh, cavalry. There's a ring on the other side. You can barely see it there for to, to attach it to the saddle. Uh, it's called a trap door because it uses cartridges, and you can see the cartridge that goes in it. Uh, there's so much history on that rifle, uh, all kind of marks on the stock and everything else. I wish they could speak because there's such history with that that uh, rifle, that gun, and uh, it's just a collector for me. And, and we have why you haven't shot it yet. I haven't shot it yet because there's just like a a chance that if I fire it, it might damage the gun. And maybe the guy that's shooting it too, but uh, I, I just don't want to take the chance. It's too too beautiful of a piece of weapon and too beautiful of a gun, and I don't want to damage it and take a chance. So it hasn't been fired. And this is the place, and this is the guy where he almost fell again. But I got him this time. I grabbed him around the legs and his belt. So, but we got almost everything hung now that's high up. You know. Okay. And, uh, well, this is our fireplace I showed you before, and we got it working, and we will have to get a chimney sweep out on this. Uh, and ladies, a lot that you can add for color or changing something is, I think I told you before in this, would be pillowcase covers, you know. And uh, these are nice. There's chenille with the little tassels on the end of it. Now, at Bill's house, I had... I was just getting into the boho, and, and they said that these were boho, and they're Navajo. But anyways, now I switched over. I'll show you what I got in a minute. I, I took most of them off. Uh, one of my paintings, uh, oh my goodness, Gary Jenkins class. I'm glad I remember because I want to give him credit for this. This is a plate that uh, Bill already had, and the parrot that I had, and the clock I had, and my antique fan. Oh, and I bought, for boho, you always have like dried flowers and things like that. Yeah. And this is Scotty that Bill and his uh, wife who passed away 
uh, Annie. They bought it at a garage sale, and I love it too. So I've adopted this dog. He adopted my dog, Millie, and I adopted his Scotty dog. And uh, Millie's bed right here. It's just a carpet that's been in several homes. This area rug right here. Uh, and this is a foot stool that goes with the ball holster. It's leather, but the photo of it when I bought it, it was all stuffed real full. <laughs> and when I got it, there was nothing in it at all. But it's made really nice, nice strong zipper. I have got a blanket in there, I've got a mattress pad, I've got pillows, and it's still not full. But it's really comfortable, it really is. And this chair I already had, but anyway, this, this throw was a gift from my granddaughter, Maddie, one Christmas, okay. Oh, Millie's gonna bring out her cow. She wants to show her cow, honey. No. <laughs> you can't cow. wanna show your cow? Let's squeak. What Millie would really like is a squirrel. I gotta get her a squirrel. Okay, and ask you what you think about that because you've seen on here I put that twinkle lights above the fireplace so what do you think about that I'm not really sure how I feel and these are on here for Christmas so like I said plants with boho are very important you want to have plants and basket stuff and uh, of course there's a basket on this plant and Bill had this but he wasn't using it for a coffee table he was using it as a bench which I don't know what it really is, but that looks good. But okay, so we get, oh, and that's the painting I did. Interesting, it's, it's of New York. This was turned this way. It was an old painting I bought for $20 with the frame on it. Wasn't a real good painting. I brought it home and uh, the frame was taken off and then I gessoed over the whole thing and then turned it this way, painted on it and put the frame back on. So it's got all these lumpy stuff underneath it where the other painting was, but I like that. It gives it the texture. All right, now as far as the boho pillows, I bought these on Amazon. I mean, these are cute. I love the colors in them. I don't know, there's something about them I just love. And that brings in the plant thing, and I, I think it's a lot of little abstract things they like too. I'll show you the back of this one. But you get all four. It wasn't expensive. I can't remember the exact price. It wasn't expensive. I'll put a link for that too, so you can see it. Uh, oh yeah, up here is the two birdhouses that I had on the fireplace during Christmas, if you remember. And then I thought those might look cute up there. And then they are, they do light up. Wait, I should turn my lights on up there. Are they lighting up? They're, they're not hooked no, up. No, they're yet. not hooked up, but the lights, see if they can see how the lights are up there. And we have one light up there burned out, but <laughs> we gotta get back up there somehow with the ladder. I know we won't do the ladder, we'll get somebody else. But uh, Bill wants to hook those up so they light up. Cause they, they do have, they have lights up, but I don't want him up there. Okay, and here we ordered these little end tables on Amazon with the jars because, you know, for us to have something on each side of what well, I'm going to tell you about this, about our love scene. But so I put these together all by myself, except I made one mistake with one of them. I put the, I opened it up and it was upside down. The bottom was up here. Ugh. Anyways, I didn't do that mistake again, but Bill saved me. He managed to take enough of it apart that he could flip it over. All right. Oh, and these were covers too, because I had some of the longer pillows. And there's also, I'll put a link for those. And this throw, I'll put a link for. Now, this is a thing we did buy that was pricey. And this is, uh, I'll let you see the back of it good. But has the buttons on it. This is a love seat recliner. I'm telling you, this is our favorite thing. We just was waiting for this because we had to order it. And it's powered. I think I'm gonna put 
Okay. And then as you hold the button, it'll go back. And then there's a little button in the side. You just touch it, and it goes right back to its original position. So this is where we are in the evening. And watch, we watch television in the evening. In the morning, we sit here and we read our Bible together. And on the side, both of them, both sides, it has plugins for your phone, charge your phone. So life just couldn't be better. We've got each other in this lovely house and, and, um, and we've got the Lord. And I've got you, my friends out there. Yeah. And uh, let me say a little prayer for you, okay, before we leave. Father, I just pray for all my friends and my subscribers and those that are, are listening. I just pray a special blessing upon them. I pray that if they need healing, that you'll touch them, Father God, and heal them from the top of their head to the tip of their toes. And Lord, if they need peace in any area of their life, Lord, let them have peace. Lord, if they need companionship, send them companionship. And uh, God, just draw them close to you. And I pray for their family, all their friends, God, you heal them too and heal relationships. God bless you guys. I love you. I know.